Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you the correlation between the standard formulas of differentiation and integration. As many of us know that differentiation and integration are exact opposite of each other and this is more or less true. In this video, I am going to show you how. So basically, when I say they are exact opposite means the answer over here becomes the question over there and the question over here becomes the answer over here. Okay, so let's start. So that as we know differentiation of x with respect to x gives us 1. So integration of 1 with respect to x will give us x plus c. Always remember that whenever we have an integration without the upper limit and the lower limit, that means it is known as nothing but indefinite integration. So in such an integration, you add the final answer with C that is nothing but an arbitrary constant. Now let's go back to the next formula that is nothing but differentiation of log x is equal to 1 upon x. So integration of 1 upon x with respect to x will give us log mod x plus c okay let's move on to ne the next one differentiation of e raised to x with respect to x gives us e raised to x so similarly integration of e raised to x with respect to x will give us e raised to x plus c okay now, I am going to show you that these two formulas are a bit different. So, let's skip them for a while and move on to the trigger functions. As we can see, differentiation of sin x with respect to x will give us cos x. Therefore, integration of cos x dx will give us sin x plus c now differentiation of cos x with respect to x gives us minus sin x so integration of sin x since i have just taken the sin x so my negative sign is carried in my answer over here and i get minus cos x plus c okay similarly differentiation of tan x with respect to x gives us sec square x therefore integration of sec square x with respect to x will give us tan x plus c in differentiation of cot x with respect to x gives us minus cos x square x therefore integration of cos x square x with respect to x I have not taken my minus sign in the question so the minus sign gets adjusted in my answer and the answer becomes minus cot x plus c differentiation of sec x gives us sec x into tan x therefore integration of sec x into tan x with respect to x will give us sec x plus c differentiation of cosec x with respect to x gives us minus cosec x into cot x therefore integration of just the cosec x into cot x with respect to x gives us minus because the minus sign was not taken in my question i am adjusting the minus sign in my answer so minus cosec x plus c okay moving on i have skipped these two formulas you will understand why because here instead of integrating the answer i am just integrating the question again that means differentiation of a raised to x gives me a raised to x log a similarly integration of a raised to x with respect to x will give me a raised to x here in the answer the log a is multiplied my answer over here log a will get divided log a so a raised to x upon log a plus c is the answer for integration of a raised to x similarly differentiation of x raised to n gives us n into x raised to n minus 1 
over here also instead of integrating the answer i'm integrating the question again so here my answer becomes x raised to n plus 1 here the degree was subtracted by 1 here my degree is getting added and same the index is getting divided again by my answer so the final answer is x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c so in this way i have shown you the correlation between the standard formulas of differentiation and integration if you've liked this video then please like and subscribe to my channel also if you have any queries please drop in a email to the email address mentioned below i will respond to your query as soon as possible thank you so much